Oh my god! We're having kittens! Ah! <laughs> hey flowers and welcome back to the Not So Very Legacy Challenge. So I just got the notification that Luna's having kitties. I am so excited. Wait, what does she look like? Does she look pregnant? I mean, last part we tried to um, we made um, Apollo and Luna and didn't work out. She didn't conceive, but we tried again. This is the third time I had them try to mate, and now she's finally pregnant. I'm so excited. Oh, I wonder what they're gonna look like. I bet Apollo and Luna's kids, kitten, will be adorable. Look at look at the regal, the regal Apollo. Um, so today is Harvest Fest, I believe, and oh, and as when it's loud. And I believe we have an event planned for Harvest Fest today. We do. We have an event. We have a dinner party, and also we have officially made a date for the wedding. So, and the next part will probably be the wedding episode. So I'm gonna manually play through all of these days till we get to this Sunday when we'll have the wedding episode and the venue is so pretty oh I'm so excited to show you guys I didn't make the venue like usual I went on the galley and I found a really cute venue and I'll talk more about the venue on the next part I'll do a whole walkthrough show it off and then we give credit to the creator but so the next couple episodes will be very eventful because we have the wedding and then we have holiday Christmas fest and then we have New Year's and I don't know we're getting close to the point where I want to start trying uh, kids with them because that's when it's like almost I usually wait till a halfway when I'm playing the any lifespan I usually wait till a halfway point of the sims lifespan for them to start conceiving but I'm thinking with Nesmin, there is no limit um, to how many babies she can have. According to the challenge rules, she has to have at least one. But other than that, she can have as many as she wants. The only part is that she has to master the scientific career, complete the mischief of aspiration, uh, complete the nerve brain aspiration, and complete the element collection. So, there is one option that says have only one child with spouse and one alien child i don't think nezen is the type of person to cheat on her spouse so i think we're just gonna have um only a one child with spouse but we did complete the part of the challenge the extra one it says find your spouse through a hate that changes to a love relationship and that was violin and nezen to the t Assign a voodoo doll to at least one sim. We did that. It didn't work out well, but we did that. Invent all the inventions and max upgrade them all. We haven't done any of that. Max master the science, the scientific, uh, scientific, the rocket science skill. We are close to that. She is on level. What is it? Level nine, and we are very close to maxing out. And when she maxes out her rocket science skill. We can build a wormhole that takes us to 6 Sam. So, I really want her to get. Oh my, this one's. She's having a hard time. <laughs> ah! Eureka! Nesvin Castalian has her 11th breakthrough and wrote down the idea for an electric fossil generator! Yes! <laughs> okay, I might actually go to work with her. Um, Click on the notebook button on the top of the phone menu to learn about because that. It's the generator we need to go to space, to go to 6 Sam. And I know you can attach it to the rocket ship and you can go directly to the rocket ship, but I didn't, I also know you can go through her scientific career. So I'm really excited that we have that. So let's actually check in her notebook to see what we need for that because it might just be easier for us to wait until we max out our uh, rocket science skill if we don't need anything. Any we don't have any, any uncommon crystals or any common metals. Okay, so I might go to work though to ask people for crystals and metals. And we might do a little more scavenging. But this might happen this part. Hold on. <laughs> we might we might go to space. 
Oh, I want to go to space. Okay. So, what was I talking about? Yeah, I was just reading off the stuff that we were finishing off. But I'm sorry. That Eureka just um, distracted me because the Electro Flux wormhole generator is how you get to 6M. Yeah. Use the Electro Flux wormhole generator to travel to the annual 6M. Oh my god. If you guys didn't know, 6M is Max's Backwards, which is the um, game developer that develops the sims so i thought that was really cute okay so oh yeah let me show you guys the updated skills that we have we don't have any more updates on her collection i've been looking around the world and i've just been getting the same elements and metals so i, I think 6am might do us a bit of a solid and give us some rare and uncommon metals. I also been waiting a couple days before I start forging for metals and stuff again, letting the game repopulate. But we did increase our mischief skill to level six. That is one of the, is part of the challenge is to increase this to max this out. And we're level eight in her logic skill, which is really good because then we achieved level ten in logic skill. I think this is broken because I have been counting the upgrades and we have, I have manually watched her upgrade four things. So I might, when she gets to level 10 of the logic skill, I might just cheat the satisfaction done because I've known she has upgraded five objects. So I don't know why it's not counting that. She also, um, let's see, yeah, they also, uh, got promoted. Uh, she got appointed to a ufologist, U UFO, ufologist, whatever that means. She makes a total of $30 additional per hour, so she makes 102 simoleons per hour. She has money. She's uh, got the bonus of 576 simoleons, concentrated tattoo, and a shadow proof window. I'm not going to put any of that in our house. Ah! <laughs> Wait, we'll finish this. Gail is trying to show, give an update. She's now a master rocket scientist. So if we, so if she finishes upgrade and we can upgrade the wormhole, oh my god, we're going to space. <laughs> Rylan, you know Rylan's out here. Rylan also leveled up in his skill. He is now in level six in the botanist career, which is really great for him. Um, he's also making bank. He makes forty-five dollars an hour. You know. That's what is the the money maker. <laughs> Let me show you guys. Yes, and that's um. So Violet makes uh, additional five dollars per hour, so a grand total of forty five simoleons per hour. He got a, a bonus of seven hundred simoleons, and the drifter. Ah, she finished. What's with you? I don't care if you're miserable and wet. I don't really care because you need to finish this. I'm sorry because I want to go to space Neswin do you understand this is your life dream so therefore my life dream and I want you to go to space do I care if you work in the morning no do I care if it's harvest fest no upgrade continue installing that please oh yeah I got I fix up her winter outfit she's cute <laughs> She really needs to finish installing this. But so much is happening. Luna's gonna have babies. We're going to space. <laughs> like we're actually gonna go to 6 a.m. I'm so hyped for that. We're so close. That's like the one the biggest part of this generation is going to 6 a.m. and going to space. So this is Nesbin's like you know her whole identity, space, the final frontier. Dinner party so I feel what? A dinner party starts at 6 a.m. No dinner party is starting at 6 a.m. I'm sorry. No one's coming to our house at 6 a.m. in the morning. That's offensive. I'm offended. I'm at 8 p.m. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna cut here till something magical and amazing and wonderful happens. I don't know what that will be, but let's have my uh Actually, no, I don't want all these people over for Harvest Fest. It's Harvest Fest, so I think it'd be a great time to invite her co workers and her friends and anything. Yeah. Okay, right. Rylan! Rylan is a chef. I meant like 
8 p.m. Yeah, it works. What? And this is at noon, right? Okay. <laughs> so as I was saying, I'll be back when something magical and fantastical and what's worth of you guys seen happens. Okay, that didn't last long. That's when it's not done. But she had her 12th breakthrough. We had all the breakthroughs we needed to to um promotion. Nice job, Nesrin. She's so smart. But she had a breakthrough for the Ghost Goo Serum. I think that turns her sims temporarily into ghosts. I have seen that with the paranormal stuff pack. We have like a seance table version of that. So that's cool. Wow. Look at I'm so proud of them. They're like they're like doing so well. Like he he got promoted. She got promoted. You guys were going to space? Like Oh, appease the gnome. I need to give him pie. Gnomes love pie. It is hard as fast, so the gnomes are here to make us cry. Peace and out. Give him a. F no one likes fruit cake. I actually really don't like fruit cake. Um, fruit cake makes like makes me feel bad. I don't know why I don't like fruit cake. It just, it's a thing. But let's appease these gnomes. How is no Winterfest is my favorite holiday in The Sims Four. I just like it when um, you have kids and then and um, the sand and winter father santa comes father winter whatever his name is in this game he shows up and you get the presents and i think that's just a really fun time i really enjoy that tradition complete good job i also like how like violin is the kind of like the gate the caretaker of the home um oh he liked he liked the pie I'm glad you like the pie. But Ryland's like the caretaker of the home, and I I really like that. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, he this one too. Yeah, go Ryland. There's no place like Gnome. Oh. And since after these two. Ah! <laughs> has been. Has finished installing the rocket ship. Okay, fantastic. I need you to install the wormhole generator. Less. This is how we're going to space, Nesson, okay? Okay. And then you, you have work. Yeah. And we're actually well, going to go to work know. with her. Well, I'm not going to show with you guys, but I'm going to go to work with her. Um, we're just going to cheat her knees because um, I cheat in my game. I'm sorry if that's uncomfortable for you. <laughs> Why is he so upset? It's Oh, we got another one. A piece of gnome. Um, give it pie. Also, I don't think they go to work on events, do they? It's like a national edit holiday. Yeah, day off of work and school. So we ain't going to work today, guys. We're just... We're just... Oof. Repair that. Good job, Violin. I believe we... Actually, no. Let have Nesbin repair that. Yes. Yeah, so we're not going to work today. Welcome to Harvest Fest. Ooh, we got a packet of seasonal spring plants. Open that. What type of did we get? Oh my, bees racks. We got some. Mm, okay, he needs to work on his logic skill and his what? His gardening skill. What is his gardening skill? Oh, he's a. Okay, I don't. How do you increase the gardening skill? Do you just like garden? That was the dumbest question and the dumbest answer. How do you increase the gardening skill, Amber? You're so stupid. Um. So do, 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 do. we have, and we do have a party today. So. I'm gonna like I'm gonna skip a lot of this in my recording, so if my video just jumps in and out, <laughs> whatever. But a lot of things are happening today. We have a party happening, so Wyland's gonna start cooking for that eventually. He's gonna cook a grand meal. Um, oh, fancy setting. We can do dots. Dots seem fancy. 
I mean, Luna's gonna have kittens. I have never had like puppies with kittens in The Sims 4. Because I, it's, I know it's a thing, I just have never done it with any of my pets because I usually only have one pet in the household. So, I'm really excited. I don't know how this process works. I don't know how long they last. Oh, I don't like those dots. <laughs> but, I'm really excited. And I hope the kids are really cute. And I hope, and do we get multiple? Or do we just get one? Ooh, let's put up decorations. I do hope we get multiple because that would be kind of annoying. Put up decorations. Hey, that's cute. Look, he's about to have a really good holiday. Next one is just we're gonna go to we're gonna go to space. <laughs> oh, Violin's really cute though. Oh yeah, I was I was just doing my own business, looking for collectibles and things, and then actually you texted Violin. And it's really reason why it's Rylan and Ashley's relationship is kind of low now. Because Ashley is texting Rylan and she's like, hey, um, you want to go on a date? I was like, what is wrong with you? You had a committed relationship with Caleb. <laughs> what do you want? I was offended. I don't know if anyone else was offended, but I was personally offended. Oh my gosh. Oh, the gnomes. Oh, they move. I see, I see, I see. Oh, can you appease one of the gnomes, Nasson? Can you fix this one? Plead for forgiveness. Yeah, that seems about something she would do. I don't know. Violin's really excited for this party because, um, it's the first time all his friends and family and his important people in his life are coming over to um like to his place that he just moved in with Nesvin and I think it's a really big deal. Luna is going to labor on Harvest Vest, but she was just pregnant. She's been pregnant for less of a day. Wait, Luna Wait, we're about to have a kitty? <laughs> this is too much. Also, now we finished making the wormholes, we can go to space? But Luna is like, is she okay? Do we help her? How does a cat get- Oh my god. <laughs> ah! That scared me! Oh, the gnome- didn't like that, so he attacked us. Wonderful. Beautiful. Scavenger parts. Okay, but... Is Luna giving birth? Is Luna okay? I have so many questions. How does a cat give birth? How, how does... How does one do this? <laughs> also, why is this the only person here at our Harvest Day Fest? We invited so many other people. Oh yeah, Ashai is here. Let's get it. Where's Caleb? Did they not show up? But would Ashai be and not Caleb be here? That's offensive. Caleb, our best friend is not even here. Okay, but I guess you can call. Next you can call the meal. Yeah. Call the grand meal. Oh, they're here, they're all here. It's just the game is loading them very, very, very slowly. Let's call them all in then. While we have a trash pile in the middle of our kitchen. I don't see any issues with that, but really. Did you give birth, Luna? She's taking a dump. Is that how one gives birth? I don't know. <laughs> it just says, gone into labor, right? Luna's bursting with anticipation to meet her new bundle of joy. So we're just gonna have a kitty. Ah! <laughs> Luna just gave birth to a kitten. What would you like to call him? Okay, Luna, Apollo. Those are all like star names. Um. Uh, okay, I came up with the name Jupiter Elliot. I think that's really sweet. And it's a kitty. 
She had multiple? Oh wait, we need, let's do Atlas. Atlas is a good name. Atlas Elliot. Okay, any more Luna? Luna Bear. How many more cans did you give us? Oh, we just got the two! That's cute. Okay, so now we can actually cancel this party. This, this, this Harvest Fats Lane, and I'm gonna, you know, uh, <laughs> cancel this and then just go to space. Oh my gosh, that's so cute! Oh, look at him! There's Jupiter. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, he looked like their dad. And it was with Atlas. <gasps> oh my gosh, they're adorable! <laughs> That's so cute! But now we got four cats. <laughs> but they're so cute! Oh, I'm in love! Let's go to space. <laughs> space. The final frontier. Ah! We're here! So I guess this is what the warm home... Oh, this is what the generator looks like. I guess we used that to travel home. Ah! The resource has already been collected. I see. Well, this is sick, Sam. Ooh, it's a little, little, cute little place. I hope we see the resource has to wait. wait. We only get one game. Oh, look at that though. That's so pretty. You see it? Look at that. That's amazing. Also, I'm not sure how she can breathe. You know, on an alien planet, Nezrin is just that skillful. But I hope we meet an alien. That'd be cool. This is their planet, no? Oh. Yeah, I actually have never been here. And I have the game since The Sims came out. So, you do the math. <laughs> but wow, I'm kind of... This is really pretty. Oh yeah, you do meet aliens here. So... Do we stay here long enough to meet an alien? This is our first time coming, so we might just become, you know, a second, a secondary location for the Let's Play. I'm gonna end this part here. I think it's a really good place to start. Um, we did a lot today. Luna had babies. We went to space, <laughs> the final frontier. And so honest, it's not much we can do for the rest of this episode and the next part will be rylan and nesbin's wedding and i think that'll be really fun so if you like this video please give it a lovely like i appreciate it a lot and let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts about this episode if you want to just talk to me chat leave any advice put it down in the comments i will really appreciate it if you if you are new to this channel hello i'm hyacinth i make sims for content and gaming content on this channel i post every tuesday and thursdays and occasionally wednesdays and fridays depending on my availability if you liked the video you just saw please give me a please feel free to subscribe and so you'll be notified the next time i upload thank you so much flowers and i'll see you in the next one goodbye